So yeah, so welcome guys to Ilias Ruins. Yeah, of course. MK on the left hand side, new PH team on the right. So we will see a lot of switches from the new PH team. They're gonna be swapping out their members from time to time and will show us a different cast or crew in each one. On the other hand, here we go with MMK, pretty established team. Gonna be Dodge taking up the main tap and Fascinate on that off tap as well. On the other hand, we have Calamitous and Billy on the double DPS. Not a rare sighting. You never, you almost never see Calamitous and Billy actually play together. Thanks to Flex God himself, gonna be on the Zenyatta, gonna be on the off support and Rebart main supporting here on the Ana. So for the Red Squad, we do have Volcane on the DPS, Silver on the Winston, Jake Easy on the Genji, Niger on the Lucia, Ceres on the Mercy, and Lil Big Ant on the Diva. So far, Billy getting a snipe onto one, make it two. Two kills going the way of MMK. Rebirth getting the by a grenade as well on the Niger, but Volcane with the pickoff on the Billy. So the small opening there through Volcane as Billy was too busy dealing with the rest of the team, getting the headshot there. So good shot from Volcane. So the point of this stream is to help the upcoming team in trying to figure out who to actually have in their lineup. So really, all these players playing for a spot in this team, I believe they have a roster for around 12 to 18 people. So we might see a lot of people being switched in and out. On the other hand, MMK already as established with their 7. Billy now getting shot onto Volcane this time. Rebirth gonna push on in, gets a snipe there onto Serious. Fascinate and Dodge is just having a field day here with their dive. And really it goes to show the difference between a team that is well coordinated and a team that is literally trying to learn as it goes. Volcano though showing his stuff, getting some headshots onto the two DPS. So really a standout so far in this fight. On the other hand, here for MMK, the blue team ready with two ultimates. The two dive can go in. Infrasight is popped by Billy, looking for an opportunity to get a shot out onto Volcano again. Here's the dive right now. Dodge coming into the fight. Jakey easy out this front. And we have a primal rage from Dodge this. He's gonna go for a few swings. Things will be taken down onto one. Transcendence is available, but MMK is still in complete control of this. So far, so good now for MMK. 60% to the point. And really, this is gonna be a self staggers to the side of the new PH team. Another jump there. And we do see Silver just shining into the like skyline so what do you guys think what do you guys think if you guys have any comments about the opposite team i would love it because it will really help out Beninja and co in picking up their roster also if you guys have any tidbits about the players i would love to be able to say it on stream as well so for this team the team is managed by Beninja so far uh, a lovely member of the community and here's the EFP now from Calamitous Silver getting kicked off first Serious is next just a pitch perfect EMP there into the middle line Volcane again with the takedown but it, it just goes to show that maybe the, the team of MK slightly ignoring Volcane in these fights they know they have to get rid of the meat of the opposing team first the transcendence was popped by Dix but the first point has been taken by MMK 100-0 Callum has new PhD must use the GOAT strat. Okay, this is the thing. Uh, GOATS is good, but I feel like this isn't a game where they're playing to win. Because one, MMK can counter the GOATS, and two, this will this won't allow the new PhD team to actually show off their DPS prowess. So that's a that's a big big problem. Uh, Halem has huge EMPC is one of the best players in the PH when my boy Joffrey isn't beating up people over much He's beating people in real life. So better think before you speak peace out. They got staggered hard. I shot staggered. Yeah, uh, you can see that MMK was causing a lot of chaos There with their dive really just every time uh, Billy or Callum would start off a pick the the tax would come on in now We do see Billy switching over to the Genji still running the Zen Ana and it's just the lineup for the supports Dinks and Revert are very good hit scan players and Dinks really flexes to the DPS role So instead of playing something like Lucian to try to maximize their damage potential Volcano though now with a takedown on to dodge this and I, I was just, as I was saying uh, a while ago about not playing the GOATS, the red team is still gonna go for it. So the new PH team this time gonna try to flex with the GOATS comp. What will MK do? Because the dive composition isn't the best one against the GOATS composition in the first place. Really wish I could join in the tour. I have a team named NC Gaming. Ah, if you do have a team, uh, just PM me about it. Like if you really want. This isn't a tour. This is really scrimmages. These are practice matches that suddenly became casted. Most of the practice matches aren't casted in the first place. Little Big Ant though, getting a pin onto Calamitous. 
So, so far, so good for the new PH team. Oh, Dinks catching out Jakey Easy out from surprise. Diana peeking unwisely will get taken down. Calamitous and Rebirth now switching over to the Farah Mercy. Exactly what you need to try and get the barrage as quick as possible. On the other hand, Dodge is going for the shock. Fascinate with the boop already on to Ceres. Little Big Ad getting the Discord up. And so far, so good. Nigir falling into the abyss. Unfortunate there. The Brigitte gone for the fight, taking away the close quarter potential here for the new PH team. And MMK in complete control. Calamitous even going down. That was, that's very risky for MMK to drop the Farah down. JK Easy now getting staggered again. This is. This is a capture point. Must your uh, tight heroes in time of defending the point? Uh, yeah, sure. But you know you can always win a capture point by taking care of the opposite team first before going to the point. It really depends on how much time you have. But for now, the new PH team is gonna be down below. On the other hand, the blue squad onto the left hand side. Here comes the Dragon Blade from Billy. A little questionable to do this in such a tight spot. Fascinate though, making an opening, gets a blow up onto the Eevee. Billy now gets to getting healed up slightly by the Harmony Orb. And Rebirth has, been fall has fallen, so so far so good for MMK. That was a very risky play from them, but they weren't punished for it. They could, uh, the new PH team could have actually punished the Genji in that situation with the Brigitte, but failed to do so with 20 HP left remaining. So far so good now for the blue squad. They're just keeping this up, dodge this, just hopping around again. On the other hand, Dings is ready with the chance. Look, looking at the goats here for a new PH team, Silver can start things off with the self-destruct. It really depends on how little Big Ad will set things up. He's gonna go for the point for it, Fascinate is gonna go for the contest. Here's the rally right now, and Calabas having free reign to get Diana first. That is such a big crux. Without Diana, there's not, not much healing here for the new PH team. Rahad Barrage is here as well, gets rid of Volcane, as well as Neo Gear. Little Big Ad gets taken down as well. Silver now dropping down to the beach and MK with the proper counter just going for the far of mercy it, it's come to the point that MK wasn't even forced to switch out the dive comp and the Genji all they needed was the Farah and the mercy to take control of this so kudos to the MK squad for responding for the time being for now here comes MK into the sidelines. There's the boop, and we have a dragon blade now from Billy. He gets stunned up, almost gets taken down. Sambire, as well as the Nana Boost, and Eager just going ham. Graviton Surge into the middle as well, only getting the tap line. Fascinate there, getting the mech. We have a shatter as well, so this is gonna be the new PH team just tossing out all their ultimates as much as possible. But still, they haven't got the kill on Calamitous. He's close to the rock brush already, going for the Brigitte first. Eager pulling up the shield, but will get taken down. Now Calamitous ready to let the trip just goes at it. The Diva out in front, and Silver will be able to get a shot. On, but all that destruction play by Calatus working out in their favor because Billy with the shield, with the sword, with the takedowns needs to go for the DMAC though and finally needs to get the kill onto the baby diva. So a self destruct was used by Fascinate as well, making some space here for MMK over time so so quick and MMK even quicker on the draw. How to disorient. Problem with goods, if one is down, he have to sustain. The biggest problem right now for the new PH team is the fact in the goods, they end up leaving JK Easy behind. If you have a Farah Mercy to deal with, well, the first thing you should do is switch out of goats. Second thing you can do is you protect your other support. That's what the Diva is for, to go for the peel. That's what the Ana can do as well. So it really depends on how the new PH, PH team is gonna go by it. Leaving your other support will never work in your favor, especially if that's the one that can top up your team. If you run a Lucia Zen, it'll be a little better, but at the same time, it will has to be coordination between your Diva and your Zenyatta in trying to deal with the Farah Mercy. And I feel like new PH team isn't at that level yet. But JK Easy now switching roles, gonna be on the Widowmaker, switching out from Diana. So you can see JK Easy just playing Sniper in general. When players who play Widow has the support, they usually go for Diana because that's what they're used to. Calamity still flying up in the sky, gets a takedown onto one on the recent rollout here for both sides. And interesting to note that Fascinate is the one playing DPS this time. Billy gonna be on that road dog. So maybe MMK just trying something new. Billy win too. So far so good here for the road hog player. And this is gonna be MMK in control of this. There's another hook. Lil Big Ad being brought into the fray. Gets to take a breather. Volcane with a pretty decent bubble there. But a buy grenade from things to just force out uh, the new PH team. So far so good now for MMK. Even, even the chat agrees fascinate on on uh, Genji is quite questionable. But for now, MMK 
trying to take control of the map pushing on in with the fire of mercy as well as fascinate just being into the back line wants to deal with the widowmaker there's the venom he steps on it for some reason giving some vision to jk easy can jk easy actually get a shot on that goes for rebirth first in the meantime it's a whole hog from billy as well as a rocket rod from calamitous he gets to knee gear just floating on in doesn't get too much with the leisure this time and jk easy struggling to get these shots when you're gonna be on that widowmaker and you want to deal with the fire mercy you need something like that you need the headshot to go on in and jk easy finally getting it but rebirth will go for the punish play now rebirth getting caught on now this is the opportunity for the new ph team to go on in lucia moira is what they gotta do for now and billy getting hooked on up little big out gonna fall as well and for now this is gonna be mmk in control again fascinate close to the end dragon blade is available can fascinate actually get the killer too that is the real question kalam is not up on top fascinate will be able to get take down onto the arisa again wanting to go for the push onto the moira 75 percent right now for mmk they're losing members however to jk easy so the arisa not in the proper position here for mmk or mmk not setting up the sides dodge this so a little cocky here from mmk just chilling right now. Finally, they've regrouped. Billy with the hook again. Little big ad gonna fall. Calamitous with the kill on the JK Easy again. Niger, on the other hand, gonna try to go for the contest with the boot. But so far, MMK in complete control of this. There's another hook. And here's the blade now from Fascinate. Fascinate trying to go for a cleave kill. Doesn't get too much. Sambire this time from Niger. And there's gonna be a coalescence as well. Sarah's just pointing up into the sky. Fascinate will be able to get the takedown. We also can see the Nano Boost on the Rebirth. So the Nano Valkyrie being popped at the end by MMK. So 3-0 will be the score. Victory. They really use Zen instead of Lucio. I would say you switch out the Moira. Because the Moira doesn't do too much in a situation like that. Especially against a Farm Mercy. If you really want to deal with a uh, enemy Farm Mercy, you can go for a Zen, an Ana, both. Or have your own Farah Mercy. There are a lot of options you can do so in the first place. If you're gonna go for a tank heavy comp, you really need that Lucio to enable your tank line to get in position in the first place. Especially when you're on the attack instead of the defense. I don't know. Let's. I'm just now getting them votes. MMK. Gonna be able to take that first one. Gonna be. On the defense first. On the other hand, the new PH team trying to show this up. Oh, is Papa Arc? I agree, HLC best map never draw. You've drawn a few times, dude. But anyway, welcome to Rialto. Gonna be the second map of our of our new PH team versus MMK team scrim. It's always great to have a team scrim again. Like it's really great that MMK. Uh, was willing to do this for the NPT. It really just goes to show that the community is very, very welcoming to new people, especially people who want to take Overwatch a little more seriously. MMK, honestly, is the number one in this. The MMK is the one that uh, is leading it right now with how how often they scrim, how disciplined they are, and stuff like that. Just having fun in the process. It used to be the Miraculum Squad, but that's gone. So we'll see. Maybe NPT can be picked up by Miraculum? Hmm, thinking. But so far, like the most stable team in the PH region is MMK. So it really goes to show that this is just for the betterment of the scene in the first place. Dax, I am trapped in this 800 SR with Bronze Torb and Bass. I'm a huge defensive player, but means to play around me and something to support me. Why Elo Hell is real? How do you come at City and become top fireman? Thanks for your time. So this is what you do. You, your turret has auto aim, yeah? You, get, you just kill everyone, and then you can do it. You will get the top fireman in no time. So, for now, we're gonna start things off here on Rialto, and Billy already launching the first arrow there onto Arctanial, not even allowing the Farah to get on out. So, interesting that MMK is gonna go for the double sniper instead of running a Farah Mercy, even though they have a Mercy in the lineup. So, Calamitous now just gonna go for some snipe. So, MMK deciding they want to deal with the opposing flyers. JK Easy getting a takedown on Calamitous there, winning out the sniper battle. So, this is an opening here for the new PH team to come on in. So far, dodge this and little big ad meeting in the middle. Dodge still with the takedown on the one. Arctanial going for the punches again. He wants to go for the charge, pushes dodge this away, giving some space here for the Reinhardt and the Zarya to initiate. Arctanial now getting rid of Dinks and here's the punch on the fast eight as well. Big buy grenade there from Nia Gear to get the takedown onto the Reinhardt. 
And so far, so good for the new PH team. They have successfully forced MMP to go to, go to the back part of the plaza near the drawbridge. But another good rotation here from MMK. The two snipers try to get into position. Interesting that Callum is going to go to the back line instead of behind the bridge. And he pays for it with his life. JK Easy with another snipe. But for MMK, they're going to set up onto the underneath tall gate. Just trying to keep the defense going. Dodge is though being booped around will get taken down. Interesting that Dodge was all the way there. A Valkyrie now being popped by Ceres. And looking what new new PH team is doing. They're deciding to just wait for Arctania to maybe get a pick or two. Calamdus though getting the picks himself. Having the sidelines there after the infrasight wants to go for JK Easy. This has been such a good sniper fight. And finally Calamdus winging it out. Little big Went for the shatter as well, but a counterplay from both Dinks and Billy to shut this down. Fascinate lobbing the Graviton Surge as well. So MMK using a bunch of ultimates in that fight to defend themselves. So ult economy now, the ult economy now is in favor of the new Filipino team. What they really need to do is use it properly because they have the Graviton Surge in play. They have the Meter Strike and the Nano Boost as well. They can go for an insta kill combination if Silver and Arctanio can cooperate with one another. On the other hand, Rebirth has to get away from this. If he gets caught on that by the Grav or the Doomfist, who just dies right there, this is gonna be really bad now for the new PhD. Grav still force it with the Reinhardt getting the Nano Shatter from Dodge this and just goes to show this needs to be a level of discipline from the new Filipino team. MMK still holding strong. Calamity is just keeping a steady hand and getting some shots. In, in a situation where your Doomfist gets picked off that early, you can still back off. The Doomfist is one one character that can get back into the fight rather quickly as JKEC out sniping Calamitous and Billy returning the favor. What, what really goes to show is you need to coordinate your team. You need to be able to retreat in the first place. One of the things you need to focus on as a team is knowing when to call, when to still go, and when to retreat. And that was a situation where they wouldn't have won it out in the first place. Arctaniel again getting picked off. And that is a really big problem right now because their Doomfist has been the crux of this offense and with the fact that MK is pointing and clicking onto the onto the black man moving on in, it's just not going to work out in their favor. So for new Filipino team, they need to either pocket up the Arc Daniel as he goes on in with both the bubble as well as the Ana going for the healing. So they need to be in a position to do so. They can take the high ground easily because they have been see it has been seeded by MMK since the start of this defense. See this area right here. They could have set up on top with the Widowmaker as well as the Ana. Now they switch out the Ana for the Lucio. And I feel like that's a very questionable decision. Trying to still force it out. A graphic surge now from Fascinate. Dragon Strike as well onto the tank line. Fascinate now with two kills. JK Easy win. A snipe again really has been a game of snipers. The MMK falling only to the sniper. And I guess occasionally Arctania with some takedowns as well. Meteor Strike right now from Ark and land up on top. Gets a smash on the Calamitous. Goes with Punch on the Rebirth as well. And the Mercy getting away with the Guardian Angel. So far, MK able to hold it by the first point. Are you okay? And we will have to reset the round. Restarting map. So in scrims guys, if your team does not finish the map and you are on first attack. Welcome to Rialto. If you are your team doesn't finish map and you're on first attack, the the proper thing to do is to reset the map. You reset the map so the opposite team <coughs> can actually go uh, go again and go through the whole map in the first place. So it's gonna be it's gonna be attack. There you go. The new PH team gonna be on the defense this time and MMK on the attack. So basically if MMK uh reaches the first checkpoint, they will take the win here on Rialto. <coughs> Are you okay? Yes. Let's check out chat real quick. Papa Arc. Oh, yes, I want Arc to use Marb's Doofus. <laughs> Doofus shits on Ryan, PH team as you Zen. I thought he is top one torp little no literally supports Yana kasi hindi masyado bagay dito sa attack. I feel like Ana is great. No, Ana is a ha character that's great on anything. I, I would disagree, honestly. Ana is really meta for a reason right now because you can play Ana so well in so many maps. Rialto, it all depends on how you position yourselves. As I was saying a while ago, 
for a new PH team if they just went up on top with New Year t setting up there. There is no real way for MMK to contest them besides the snipers. You can just hide inside and still pop at the Doomfist. Um, for MMK, you must use Tracer and Genji like the NYXL strat. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We'll see something else. Ana is better right now. Ana is literally number one right now. The fact she gets paired with Lucia a lot, so it's just the best uh, combination. But you can really pair Ana with anyone right now. It's Ana plus one. Yeah. This is happening. So for MMK, they're gonna decide to go for this Arisa Bastion strat. Arctanial ready to go for the hack, but gets taken down too easily. When you go for a somber play like that, and you know the enemy has a Bastion, if you show yourself way too early, you're gonna, they're gonna see the lines, and Calamitous just pointing and clicking away. Literally now, Calamitous just having a field day, just ripping apart JK easy. Here comes MMK, gonna go for the push. Rebirth getting his smash there onto Silver. But for now, MMK in complete control of this, wiping out the new Filipina team at the start. So when you go for the Sombra like that, you try to go for the hack, yes? You need to coordinate your team, you can't do it alone. You need to have someone distract the Bastion and the Arisa. And that was a situation where Arctane was left to fend for himself. So, almost near the end, we do see some switches. A Mei and a Junkrat already from the new Filipino team. Arctane you know, getting a the kill there onto Calamitous. So far, MMK having to back on that. Self-destruct though, coming on that from the Diva Fascinate. He gets two, that's a huge one. Billy with a Tracer as well, dealing with Ceres. So MMK, gonna take Riazzo already, and we'll try to get to the end. A good last ditch effort play there from Niagir getting rid of Fascinate. But as a situation where the where the defense just coming at them a little too late. They tried to go for the Mei Junkrat and they get rid of the Bastion, yes. But they forgot to factor in the rest of the squad. When you focus on the Bastion that much, you're not gonna have the proper position to engage with the rest of the opposing squad. And running both Mei and Junkrat is a little detrimental to your guaranteed damage. So we'll see if the new PH team just has the strat or are these pocket picks in the first place. Ice will now coming on out. Dodge has been a takedown onto one. Calamda switching over to the world of tanks and will get two kills so far. He gets stunned up however by the Reinhardt. So good counterplay there from Silver. But it just goes to show even with a good counterplay like that, it's not going to be enough. And in hindsight, Silver should have, shouldn't have should have gone for the Shatter in the first place. So this is MMK pressing the advantage. When you are winning out with team kills, you have free reign to go to their spawn. Billy gonna be into the flank, wanting to go for the Ana. Niagir getting pointed at, doesn't get the one clip however, so a little disappointing there from the Tracer. But so far, this is gonna be MMK trying to go for something a little cheeky. Calamitous now, switching over to the recon mode, goes for the sentry. Oh, spots out the blizzard, that has to back on out. So for the payload, it's just gonna be a contest spot for them so far. Uh, down below, self destruct again here from Fastlane. Down behind Silver, though, doesn't get the kill. Calamitous now letting it rip, does get to make that three. And this is gonna be an easy time here for MMK if uh, the new PH team can't coordinate their attack accordingly. The real question is, how can they do so? If they switch out way too much, if they experiment way too much, they're not gonna have enough ult charge. So JK Easy now switching over to the Genji, Arc Daniel to the Doomfist. And I would I would say this is a this is a part where you should actually just run the junk rat in the first place. Rebirth though, ready with the rally. Billy gets two on his own. So the tracer showing some hero plays. Calamitous again, letting it rip, grabbing the surge into the middle line, coalescence is there as well. But interesting that Sarah's wasn't pointing the coalescence at the Graviton. Could have done so to, to maximize the damage and maybe pick up a support or two. Calamitous on the other hand, getting the nano boost, staying alive, will be able to finish the map. And that is the round. <laughs> so MMK able to finish up the map. So for this map, it's gonna be MMK deciding to go for the attack first. On the other hand, the new PH team gonna be on that defense. So we will see a, a few standouts here. It's gonna be Luke coming on in as well as Rage of Tofu. So MMK might have to change their strat a little. Luke, I from what I've heard, plays the Ana pretty well. On the other hand, Rage of Tofu is uh, is a pretty great guy to say the least. If you guys don't know, Rage of Tofu was part of one of the Team Singapore stuff. One of the Team Singapore rosters in one of the Overwatch World Cup, I forgot which one, uh, former Team NGV as well, which was also top 20 open division and top the scrim league for Thai. It's really NGV, good friends of ours, 
like especially Yuri's and their coach Gumby is a Filipino as well so really just goes to show that uh, the NGV boys having some roots in the Filipino scene and we'll see what Rage of Tofu can bring to the table he's gonna be one to keep an eye out on because this guy is really good to say the least anyway fascinate is shaking so for the defense here for the new PH team, they just decide to go for the dive cop here on point A. Interesting. So this is gonna be them trying to take the high ground, trying to keep control of the ble the bleachers. Because with the dive, they can contest anywhere, but they won't have much presence in the gateway. On the other hand, here for MMK, they're gonna be running the Sombra, which is really standard on Volskaya. Because uh, the Sombra is a very, very good on Volskaya since day one, since Sombra has been introduced to the game. And we'll see what Calamity is going to be planning. Won't contest the, pay the point. That is a new QOL change. Calamity is now trying to get into position, waiting for the opportunity to strike. And Yeager going to pop the Ampet up early with the speed boost. Interesting. So it looked like the new PH team was deciding to maybe go for the contest, but instead uh, decided against it. And this is going to be MMK right now going up on top, running the GOATS with the Sombra. Rage of Tofu though will take down onto Calamity. So it'll be a 5v6. MMK can still fight this. If their, their healers aren't caught or not, Rebert will get taken down. Nigir going for the boops. Dodge is now really low with the shield. Things will be able to get take one onto one. A good boop here from Nigir, however, to dislodge the Reinhardt in this fight. And an another big buy grenade there from Luke. So for the new PH team, they do look like they have the potential of Billy getting the overextending arc. They know Calamity's gonna take down onto Luke as well into the backline. Needs to go for the Lucian X and look at that tracking there from Kalam. MMK still in control of the point. Rage of Tofu with the takedown this time on the Dinks. It just goes to show the, the strength of the Diva player, but he gets pooped up and taken down. Eventually, MMK able to pierce the defense and get on in, but it really looked like that the new PH team had a chance in that fight. To dodge about me bagong headset na. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meron na. So for MMK, the new strat here is to try and take the high ground again and set up with the EMP from the Sombra while the rest of the GOAT is gonna go on to the point itself. A little big out. Out in front, gets a bio grenade and doesn't pop the Prime Rage. This will allow MMK to push in uncontested. We have the Graviton Surge eaten up there. By Rage of Tofu again, fast hands from the Singaporean, and we will see Nigir just trying to hop along. The first stick has been taken already by MMK. Gonna be a Nana Blade from the side of no, it's just a normal blade here from Arcania Luke tossing it out onto Nigir instead. So even the misplay from NPT working out in their favor. It just really it really started with Rage of Tofu eating up the crab. And the NPT then working together to go for the blade and the nano boost on sadly different targets, so they might need to work on that. Fernando MK beaten back, bruised but not unconscious yet. They're gonna go to the right hand side. Rebirth is ready with the sound barrier, and for uh, NPT, don't, they don't really have any counterplay for this. Calamitous though might want to go for half onto Nigir to try and stop his own Sandbarrier from coming on out. Dodges, beams me boost, and Rage of Tofu now with the self destruct through the backline. Still gets a kill on the Dinks. MMK has to retreat because they lost two in this fight. Billy though, sniping around, gets a kill onto one. Dodges bringing JK Easy along for the ride as well. But still, MMK is struggling to make a dead here on the defense of. Uh, NPC. A Sambar here from Nigir as well. I feel like this is very questionable from NPT right now, calling for the Sambar in the fight already won. So, wasting at Sambar there is very, very crucial uh, for MMK's win condition. And now that it's gone, it's gonna be a lot easier for Calamitous to deal with, not having to save up the EMP for that, fu that situation. So far, so good. Still though for NPT, we have a post bomb into the middle line. Dodges and fascinate, just dodging it for the time being. Take easy, try to go to the left hand sides. We have the primal rage now from Little Big Ant. He gets hacked on up and just struggling to even make a dent here on the offense of MMK. On the other hand, here comes Dodge, just swinging away. Nigir with the boom. EMP comes on out, but I feel like MMK not really in the proper space. Gets a shatter now onto Arc Daniel. Fascinate does get to four kills going the way of MMK and that just went to show how they shut down Rage of Tofu in that one. So with Rage of Tofu taking a quick little nap, dreaming of older days 
the rest of the MMP squad just pushing on to the point. Still big out, getting half done up. And we have a Dragon Blade down from Mark Daniel. Gets a dash onto one. Can he get any more kills after the buy grenade? No, Calamitas will be able to get the takedown. Still though, no, MMP staggered. JK Easy hiding in the corner. Gets caught on that. Dinks with gets a headshot from the icicle. And here comes Nia Gear and Rage of Tofu again. Sleep Dart now connecting. Gets working up really, really quickly. Will MMK still force this? They might get the shatter in time. But there's going to be a self destruct right now. A little early bubble there from Fastnight. He has to hide instead. So for now, MK still getting some picks. Little Bigant with the takedown onto one. Dodges ready with the shatter. Trying to get back into position to get a slam onto multiple members. But looks like Dodge is hesitating to do so. Gets a bubble. Finally pops the shatter. Gets two. We have the rally as well here from Dick Sandbuyer in response. Callum, no EMP yet. But finally the Graviton Surge connecting from Fascinate. Two have fallen here for the defense. But still the staggers are ongoing. Ananda Boost going the way of Fascinate as well. Arcanos staying up on top. Giving up the point. Could have jumped on at that last moment, but finally, MK finishing up Volskaya with three minutes. Oh, 254 apparently. WT Overwatch. Is, uh, is that a reference to the Singaporean community? The W. What's, what's Team Fortress? Anyway, where were we? My balls are quaking. Let's see some sexy feeling, please. My titties are raging. Dude, guys. Yeah, the tracking. The eat can I and grab. Yeah, the grab gravity was really good there from Rage of Tofu. It just goes to show. MMK always use Sombra when they're attacking. I think they're just trying to run this. They're trying to practice this Sombra Goats comp, especially on a map like Volskaya, where it's really suited. PH team early sandbar. Yeah, I said that. Established dominance, fat figure, panic ult. It was stalled. Yeah, the stalls were good. It was, it was good there. Yes, kudos to the new PH team, really. Just to add on. <laughs> So let me let's just get this straight guys. Rage of Tofu. Eight what? Where's the camera going? Rage of Tofu eating that Graviton from Fascinate was really really key to prevent the snowball from MK in the first place. The fact that Rage of Tofu just smashed that defense matrix on point, allowing NPT to actually not get punched up like in a way that they didn't want to. They were able to make the positions they need to only give up one tick in that initial fight. And eventually, NPT still keeping strong mechanical skill, uh, forcing some fights out. But really, these the small mistakes eventually getting to them. And M MMK capitalizing on a really good play from uh, Calamitous and his EMP. So now, we're going to be back on Volskaya out into the cold, frigid Ru Russian factory. And interesting that Calamitous putting the translocator up on top beside his team. Gonna back on out, and this time Billy on that Widowmaker looking for a sniper too. In the meantime, we do see JK Easy trying to contest the point. So basically, what he's doing is just putting the MMK team on their toes as well as forcing them to drop on down to the point instead. Now, Luke with a takedown on the rebirth. The Lucio just dancing around in a place where he shouldn't. And here comes JK Easy gonna infiltrate up on top, get some Venom Mine to his face. Billy gonna drop on down, has the grapple hook. And spots out the Widow the Sombra to translocate back below. But still, the slow push here from NPT is working. Luke getting a number of kills again. Dodge is gonna go to the back line. And this looks like MMK can give up the point already. No real fright from the MMK squad. Rebirth gonna go for the boop. Arcano bounce out. Calamity's gonna back on out instead. And for now, this is gonna be NPT on the second point attack. So for MMK, they're just gonna decide to still take the high ground. They just gave that up after the kill onto the Lucio. Not too much fight there from MMK in the first place. We'll see if this time they're gonna be willing to sacrifice their lives for the cause. In the meantime, Calamitous in the backline. We'll get rid of Arcanial. Just the uh, Sombra winning out many matchups against a Doofus. Just getting the half. Translocate very questionable now. Wants to go to the backline. Here's the EMP instead. They're just gonna force it out. And two kills already going the way of MMK. A good push here from the MMK squad. Not using anything else besides the EMP. They don't need to do so in the first place. Just go get those kills. Dodge is even zapping Arc Daniel in the end. So for now. EPH team trying to regroup. Fridge of Tofu, interesting to note. Chilling by the Sombra health pack. But no, see, so can't use it. JK Easy now trying to infiltrate again. Reading in position to go for the EMP. But Billy and Arc Daniel training some kills. So a 5v5. Dodges is the target. And the pack on JK Easy popping himself in the open will 
pretty much tell M uh, tell MK that they're just trying to charge up the EMP to finally get the clash on in their advantage. EMP now comes on out. I feel that that was a pretty questionable EMP out of position. Billy and Rage of Tofu now trading some kills. Rage of Tofu wins who dodges onto the point, gets stunned up, needs to pop the Prime Rage a little bit early. And here's a chance now from Niger. Little Big Ant though gets squashed by Calamitous being bounced up in top. And there's a self destruct now from Fascinate into the skyline, gets rid of Niger. Here comes Rage of Tofu now with a lot of energy and a dream to get these kills, but no, Billy will shut it down with a sniper shot to the head. So for MMK, this has been pretty successful so far on the defense. The real question is, uh, can they keep at it? Because these two CT maps take its toll. They know there's always that pressure. When you're on the defense, and if you lose one clash, you know your your point is going to be in such a bad spot. But for now, MMK just holding strong. Really nerves the skill from these guys. Arc Daniel, on the other hand, trying to set up onto the right hand side. Will be met by Fascinate. No, he's gonna back on out instead. So for MMK, they have this line and they're not crossing it. Instead, they're gonna counter in the shape on anyone who gets past it. Now Dodge is capitalizing on the EMP alongside Rebirth and uh Calamitous. They're gonna push the NPT squad back on outside the factory floor. Dodge is just leading the charge again for the time being, and they have three ultimates to spare. JK Easy now switching over from the Sombra to the Genji, which is a little interesting. I mean, this Genji is good to contest the Widowmaker, but might have a hard time against the dive. It really depends on how JK Easy plays it. Genji is one of those heroes where you can make work in almost any situation depending on your mechanical skill. So JK is now pretty confident in his stuff. Gonna go for the double jump, trying to get to the backline, being sneaky. Arcana on the other hand with snipe already on to Billy. And here comes the jump from NPT. Oh, two kills going their way. JK Easy even getting rid of Dix. Fascinate on the other hand with the counter kill and the position of MMK under a lot of the rest. Ananda boost now going the way of Lil Big Ant. Arcane up on top, loop down below. And here's a Graviton Surge right now. Gets absolutely nothing from the side straight to Tofu. Dodge is still gonna jump back into the fight, into the hole. And now we have the rally here from Niger, who's just swinging away. One for one trade, getting rid of Luke. And really, in a situation like that, you might need to be able to feel your Ana. Because Fascinate just getting the solo kill in that engagement now this is gonna be a pretty bad spot for uh the new phd but still they pop the shatter fascinate now getting the mech first they cast the it emp now and here comes dodge this with the wrecking ball to go for the contest we'll see if we can get any more kills because there's no sombra on the side of the npt so he can just have free reign rolling around arcana now gonna go to the second floor the first type onto the ana dinks avoiding the headshot and the sleep card doesn't connect on the other hand, Billy onto the point, getting defense matrix. JK Easy gets the Dragon Blade as well. And it's gonna be Fascinate now going through the back line. Calam is gonna go for the half. In the meantime, Revert onto the point, sacrificing his life for the cause. But no, eventually, MK able to hold on to this with his clutch swap onto the Wrecking Ball. Billy back to the Widowmaker as well. So just MMK having this sort of rotation, which is great to see. So for MMK, they decide to rotate their attacks and their supports with the contest, allowing Fascinate to get rid of the backline. Really on point play here from MMK so far. A few mistakes though from both sides being something that they can capitalize on. Rebirth has been caught out a bunch of times out of position and no one spotting out the Genji early enough. Allowing the Ana to get picked off in the fight. Dodges down, gets a bio grenade, has to back on up with the shields, gets speed boosted there by the Lucian to put, put him back in a pretty good spot. On the other hand, the rally is available, and there's the gravity surge here from Rage of Tofu. But the problem is, the blue team not really having too much to counter the high ground. Still makes it work, however, there's a high energy from the Zarya, solo carrying his team. In MMK, get back onto the point. Calamus now with a pick up onto Arc. They know where's the wrecking ball in this fight? All the way inside the spawn. And the round is over. NPT finishing up of Volskaya as well. Score. Two to two. What happened? Six, come here. Oh. Yeah, man. So, let's read real quick. What is happening? Will Fascinate eat Rage of Tofu's grab now as revenge? Uh, Rage of Tofu is almost flat. Two levels will. Oh, yeah, the portrait. Yeah, dude. Rage of Tofu plays a lot. Beach World Come Tap versus SG World Come Tap. Hmm, I wonder who's gonna take the win in something like that. 
problem with MK pushing the PH team not grouping up, they're spreading just to get the healers, but the MK strat amazing because tanks always take close to the heals. That's why they're hard to kill. It's just basically MMK knowing how to peel and NPT leaving their supports in the dust, which needs to be rectified pretty easily, especially uh, with an Ana. You know, you have to take care of your elderly. Okay, these trash players we consider pros when they're always like for bomb, even I and Ronsk at least not try to learn low. Oh, they replacements, I could not storm turrets. Low. Anyway, well, eventually, they got it. Ark the Widow is scary. Yeah, it's okay. He was playing pretty well. I don't really see the point on PH. Problem PH, when their bolts are on, they use it early. That's a weakness. That's, that's just a little bit of discipline. And they can work on it. Age of Toku is really good. Yes, he's very, very good. To say the least. Like, really, Rage of Tofu is a really good player and will be a good pickup for any kind of squad. Nice hit. So for now, here comes NPT going to the left hand side. Just gonna run this Lucio Ana. And now they get two picks immediately. J JK Easy getting rid of Rebirth. And that has been the weakness of MMK so far. The Lucio getting picked off that early. Not working out in their favor. So for MMK, they can still go for the contest with a fast nade now into the fight. Arc Daniel gets a snipe on up. Billy, steady hand, will be able to get the kill. No, Nigir dodging at the last moment and Arc Daniel getting two. Dinks on the other hand, tosses out the Kobe, gets rid of Arc Daniel, and the Ana just pocketing the Widowmaker in this fight. Again, uh, MMK still go for the contest. Dodges has switched over to the Winston. JK easy with the kill on the Calamus, however, and Billy getting a shuriken to the face. But still not enough contest here from the side of NPT. Billy getting free reign to get these shots, and the rest of MMK capitalizing on the damage done. JK easy though getting rid of things, and that is a big pick because the Ana will take a while to get back into the fight and to win the position of the map. The blue team of NPT having spawn advantage. 20 seconds remaining and NPT showing some discipline, regrouping. They know they don't need to contest in this time. If MMK was able to get staggered there on JK Easy a little more, this could have been a little easier for them. But Arc Daniel gonna initiate. Here comes a little bag out all to the point as well. Meet Strike now coming on out, trying to get to the back line. Goes for Billy, but a good grapple hook away. Arc Daniel versus Billy having a duel into the back foreground. And here comes the point now under contest. Can MMK get back? Revert with a questionable wall right there. But now self destruct from Fascinate gets rid of Nia Gear. A Dragon Blade being popped by JKEC. Revert will be the first to fall. Fascinate on the other hand, getting these kills. Dodges with the Nana Boost enabled as well to get some damage done and for MMK eventually a clutch effort there from MMK Dodge is getting back in time and Billy staying alive to all do all that damage I love the grapple hook there from Billy winning out the duel as well onto Arc Daniel so for MMK free kudos to their sniper rolls really though uh the first the first point presence might need a little work for MMK. It just goes to show that it's such an easy pick from NPT at the start, and it almost allowed them to just snowball in. On the other hand, here for NPT, just struggling. Uh, the fact that their last push was timed good at the start, but it just devolved really, really quickly. There was no real, uh, there was no real focus fire. It looked like Arctino went for the sniper first, which is right. But then Niger going up on top as well, just trying to contest the Widowmaker. That's not how you really do it. It's it's you focus the support should focus on to whoever's a uh, big target, and you let the flankers do the do their work in the first place. If they lose, that's how it works. That's how it goes. But anyway, for NPT, for NPT, they will have this dive comp again. Rage of Tofu gonna be on the Pac-Man Diva. JK Easy on the Widowmaker. And on the other hand, here's the goats again from MK. Grouping out the Sombra. And Kalam is gonna do the exact same thing to try and try something new. Look, look on to the left hand side instead. Just hopping around. JK Easy now spotting out Kalam. And he's using crouching. Kalam with the crouch play to get away. But now he's getting chased by the Winston. Kalam stuck between a monkey and a hard place and will get taken down. Can MK capitalize though in the repositioning from the NPT squad? No. It looks like they're just gonna stay inside, not wanting to get sniped up by JK Easy. Waiting for Calamitous to actually get back into position. Arc Daniel getting the punch, however, on to dodge this. And for NPT, this is a pretty good spot for them to keep the stagger on. 
Looks like Fascinator has been charging up his beam. 90, 90 energy already wanting to rip apart the Winston. Finally, Luke getting the heals onto him. And Luke now trying to get into position again. He's a jump on now. Little big add up to the second floor. And Dodge is going for some swings. And Dink's tossed into the air again. Arc Daniel though not having anyone to combo in. Dodge and Arc onto the floor. And then Adam who's going the way of the Doof is going to the back line. Almost gets hacked up by Calamitous. But he gets the punch instead. Sleep Dart is there. And Arc Daniel just turning the clutch factor on. Getting two kills so far for NPT. MMK forced the retreat already. Can he get back out? No, JK Easy getting a snipe on the rebirth again. Billy just hopping around. The nano boost is available, but his life isn't. So, so far, so good for NPT. They can take the win here if MMK fails to capture the first point because they got 89.4% and they haven't had the medium of success that NPT had in their first push. But for now, Little Big Ant will be the center of all attention. He has a primary much available. Niger close to the sound bar as well. How will the Winston initiate onto this? The EMP, however, is available here for Calamitous. Can he actually get the hack on into the multiple members of the opposing squad? He, Calamitous is going to go with the rest of MMK. Interesting. So the Sombra is going to go for the flank. There's the EMP right now. Grabbing the Surge is there as well. Fascinating getting absolutely nothing. And Niger with a good hide. Pops the sound bar after EMP. Both teams now feel shielded up. Dodge this win. Shatter on the two tanks and look at Luke just having free reign as well. Jake is easy. Sound there's a self destruct now into the middle, doesn't get too much. Kalam is now gonna go for the contest on to the Winnemaker, wants to go for the Anam as well. But Luke now has to deal with the Brigitte out in front and look at the shining beacon that is things bullying out the Anam. Gets to take down Rage of Tofu with the kill on to one, but now it's the Lucio and the Diva, the only ones left. Nier has to go for the stagger, gets a sleep dart instead. Rage of Tofu now getting the mech, and here comes Arctano with a good rollout. But this feels like MMK. Able to eke it out at the end as the diva falls. No one from NPT close to the point. So at the very end, it was a very close match, but MK able to win it out. Three to two. Why are you guys? Why are you guys roasting on the low ranks, dudes? Good pop pop lang daw The EMP there. The EMP wasn't even the best from MMK. The sound buyer from the year was pretty well, well timed. Trying to counter that, just eventually again. It's like, this is what I've seen from NPT. Oh, give me a sec to add the score. Give me a sec. I was trying to check something out. Okay. Where were, where were we, chat? And for now, NPT on the defense first. MK on the attack again. So we do see a swap. Dink's actually gonna sub out for uh Joran. Joran, uh you guys know Joran already. Top tier player, top tier support player. Pretty much plays all the supports. Except not I don't think no, he plays all the sports. He's just that good. Coming in from Mineski, work played for Miraculum as well. And now alongside Fascinate here on MMK. Never stop fighting for what you believe. Let's just read chat real quick as we check out how NPT is gonna set themselves up. No one knows the struggle of being good. God. MK has amazing tactics because every player has a good position to defend the point. They they're trying to capitalize on the second floor, and that's the point of the dive on Volskaya. If you go for the dive, you can use the second floor. If you don't go for the dive, if you go for Reinhardt play, you have to drop down as soon as you get some pressure. At least let what is this plant stuff? Good things for the widow, great match, I'm not triggered. It's okay guys. The problem here is that MK must know how their enemy moves and push. They just need to click their heads more too. Okay, I'm gonna gamut palagi and start to it. Uh I you I think MMK was doing something. They were trying to push how far they can go with one strat in the first place. On the other hand, yeah. we'll see what NPT has in store this time. As Ranger Tofu up on top, just just chilling for the time being. On the other hand, Billy already tossing some shurikens. So for NPT, this is gonna be a high ground defense with the dive. On the other hand, Calamus already soaring through the side, gets a buy grenade to his name, putting little, little big on to the wall. Can the diva even stay alive? Billy now gonna drop on down, and there's the punch now onto Ceres. So for MMK, they are in complete control of this. Four kills going their way. I haven't seen such disciplined dive here from MMK on the Bonnie in in forever, honestly. So kudos to them for picking this up. Solid lineup here from MK. Just hopping on to the point for the time being. Just having some fun. Just chilling. Just chilling, chilling, chilling. So ticks have been taken. 
in this MMK gang a steamroll capture of the point. On the other hand, here for NTT, Volcano now gained the hack out the Billy, and that's that's just the uh, Genji overextending. So unfortunate there for Billy. The uh, does get punished for it pretty well. On the other hand, Calamus ready to meet Major Strike, looking for a poke on the JK Easy, whipping it out after the kill. I think he was surprised about that. He was expecting to go for the McCree, but instead gets rid of both the Mercy and the Ana. And in a situation where you're running a Mercy Ana, you need to be a little far off from each other. Because one Meter Strike taking that the two support line will, will just allow MMK to have a field day in their push. So for MMK, they do have three ultimates available, Dodge this and Joran working on their ults as well on the other hand here for npt rage of tofu ready with the prowl rage will be on the other hand does have the self destruct as well palam is now gonna go for the punch billy with the nano blade whipping it out gets a kill on the cage first and foremost next will be killed on the little bit jake easy saris both get taken down and this is be a highlight reel here from the genji finally finishing it off onto luke as well on the other hand rage of tofu tried so what Rage of Tofu did, popped the Prime Rage, tried to contest the payload, but was forced to get beaten back. It just really went to show how uh, Rage of Tofu decided to try and put the fight to them. They, uh, he knew that Billy already had the positional advantage over him. So instead, decided to delay the payload as much as possible. Volcano now in position, can pop the EMP. Substance though into the backline, gets a kill onto two. JKZ and Luke both get taken down. And on the other hand, there's the hack onto Joran. For now. MMK is still winning that one out even after these uh, EMP. Just no real follow up there from the side of NPT. And at the same time, MMK already had their number with the self destruct flying in the sky. Billy having a deal this time with Jordan, the Lucio, and the Genji working together. Luke, on the other hand, with the bar grenade on the Fastnade. And Fastnade just having some fun with the Baby Diva ready to call mech. Can pop it at any time. No! Decides to go for the Ana first. Now we do see a self destruct this time from the side of the blue team. Doesn't get too much. Here's a jump on in from Rage of Tofu. Joran again getting hacked and finally he gets taken down. Billy though whipping out the blade gets rid of Volcane, erupting the, the Sombra in a burst of sword steel. Rage of Tofu still jumping around, can't even get back to the payload. Ceres on the other hand, good guardian angel to go for the contest. Meteor Strike coming out from Calamitous, wants to go for the McCree, gets the smash. Fastnape gets a nano boost as well. Volcane though with the hack and Calamitous just charging that up way too much. For now though, Ken, uh, MMK finishes things off, self destruct again from Fascinate, gets a DMEC on the little big ant because the payload has an under area where you can do damage from if you're way too close to the butt. Volcano now with a pick off onto the baby diva, Dodge is still in the fight, ready to go for the jump, trying to peel Rage of Tofu off, and here comes Billy with the focus power, Bygrenade comes on that, but JK easy in the middle line, will get takedown onto one, and the DPS finally doing their job getting these kills, but they forced the retreat, and MMK talking tail and running. Kudos to the a new PH team in that defense. Just I love how new new PH team made enough space for their DPS to go ham. Jk easy though down below. Dodge is gonna go for the jump to the left hand side, and here comes Fastnate up on top again. Rage of Tofu actually keeps this up. We'll see. MK now gonna go for the dive again. And there's the EMP now from Volcane. They get two kills. Four kills going the way of the new PH team. MK forced to back off again. Volcane setting things up. And new PH team knocking things down. And finally, new Filipino team uh, is showing stuff. What happened to Dutch? I guess something happened to Dutch there. Let's see, Edo Winston is AFK? No, no, he's fine. He's gonna go for the fight, and now he's in a pretty bad spot. JK is gonna whip out the Dead Eye as well, gets rid of the Bird. And the Genji of Billy has to back on out. Fascinate, now the next target gets shocked up and gets taken down. New PH team gonna go to the left hand side, trying to do enough damage here. And in a situation like this, New PH team right now has been pretty. Pretty mobile to say the least, because they have the dive comp between Lil Big Ant and Ridge of Tofu. The only ones who are mostly staying on point are JK Easy and Luke. Volcane skulking around, getting in position, being proactive, which is what you always want to see on the Sombra. A Dragon Blade though coming on out, Billy getting the Nana boost as well, gets rid of Luke first. JK Easy next to dive, and that's the only weakness of the dive comp right now in a situation like this. Uh, four. 
uh, new PH team, they use their mobility and they use their ultimates to go for the backline. Billy able to get two, but still, uh, the trades were pretty even, so no side winning out yet. Now there's a hack on the Billy, another takedown, and MMK forced the back on out again. Volcano has been pretty on point with these hacks, pretty on point with getting into position. Now the Sombra gonna go to the right hand side, and really the proactivity here from Volcano has been stellar to say the least. Now Volcano in position again to go for the hack, wants to go for dodge, holding at right click, no one spots him, and dodge actually gets hacked on out. Really, MMK needs to work on just trying to communicate when the Sombra is going for the hack. There's the grab to search right now from Fast 8. Does get three. three. Three stick figures are inside and will get taken down. Four kills now for MMK. And the only one left here are Volcane and Rage of Tofu. Rage of Tofu waiting for the med back. Gets it. Is topped up. Volcane has to go for the contest. Getting it into the back line. Here's the hack right now. Puts it onto Diana. Can NPT get back into the fight here comes Rage of Tofu right now JK Easy again with the kill this time on the revert has the dead eye available can pop it onto the back line fast lane getting the bubble out and just the dead eye too late in a situation like that Billy getting two with one strike and MMK finishing up the round 3-0 with less than a minute so a good defense at the end Joronate, Joronate, my OTP, my one true pairing right there from Rockin' of Days. Grab it for every talaga. Grab it for every Billy on Genji, oof, usual. MK has a good push because both TPs are always together when flanking all tanks and healers are always baiting their team. Too early to subscribe, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening? Rage gives so much space. Rage, Rage is gone. That's all. Feels bad the monkey could have killed right. Feels bad, man. 400 ping. You're lagging again, dodge. No, ko si Captain pa yung naglilag. Oh no. Looks like someone has to come shop na rin. So hopefully, dodge is okay. Anyway, here for MMK, they might decide to do this dive comp again to go to the second floor. And uh, really, in. This is just a good transition in map pool. Uh, we went from Boskaya, which had this high ground, low ground kind of thing, to Namani, which also has this high ground, low ground thing. So really being able to practice the dive is good for both teams. On the other hand, here we go with the Lucia Ana between Jordan and Rebirth. Wait, my dog wants to go out for some reason. Give me a sec, guys. That's the same. Four. Okay, what? <laughs> Dodge is being booped around here by Calamitous. But look at what MK is gonna run. They have this Doomfist Genji combination to have so much speed and can coordinate their dives pretty well with the Rocket Punch and the Swift Strike. On the other hand, Farah Mercy is the name of the game here for NPT. George of Tofu ready to go for the main tank roll as well. He has to jump right now from the big ant. Wants to go for the Doomfist. The blue team of NPT trying to take control of the point. No real pressure here from MK. And Calamus is the first to fall. On the other hand, Billy in the backline gets rid of Luke. And the Genji getting the reflect as well. Dodges right now. Gets rid of Rage of Tofu. Take easy. Try to back off. Oh, the. Widowmaker gets two with 12 HP remaining. Wants to go for Jara next. He just tosses out a sound wave there. Might be able to get the kill. No fascinate instead. Will hop up instead. So maybe a counter snipe there from Joran could have been low key. But MMK still able to hold on to this. Has given up a tick again though. So it really goes to show that MPT very good at that initiation. On the other hand, Volcane now down below. Ceres. Trying to pocket up Volcane in this fight. Rage of Tofu ready for the jump. Goes for dodges first. Good Discord arm is on point and does get the kill instantly onto the Winston. On the other hand, Kalanus going for some shots. Rage of Tofu out in front of him. Fascinate now dropping on down to try and go for the field. Gets rid of the Winston and he can go for the substrap. But the Mercy of Ceres already getting the res. Can this lead to a kill? No! Gets absolutely nothing onto the point. And now Luke, Ceres, and Volcane stepping back on. Substrap this time from Lil Big Ant. And all the space they're made by uh, NPT and their tank line, allowing them to go for the push. Lamas getting a snipe again onto Volcane. So for MMK, they're trying to reposition themselves into the streets phase. They need to regroup because Lumbani is just one of those maps where you can get snowballed so, so quickly in many engagements. 
Oh yeah, look at this. Two ultimates here for MMK. They can go for the Nano Winston, or even better, they can go for the Nano Blade. Billy trying to get into position, scouting out the opposing team. Spots out the sniper of JK Easy inside. Could have gotten Shuriken there, but instead, MMK gonna commit onto the payload. They know that there's a sniper, and they can just adjust accordingly. Here comes the Nano Blade right now, as well as some sentence from Luke, but still too much damage here from MMK. Gonna be a dead eye as well. So for MK using up so many ultimates in that fight could have saved the dead eye instead. But it is what it is. Calamity is popping it for some fireworks. That was a good initiation with Brown Bridge. You remember guys. Brown Bridge is a tool that you can actually use to initiate things. It is a tool that you can just knock people back away from things like the payload. It's very very strong even in non-stagger situations. For now though, Lokane trying to get in position. We have the Valkyrie right now from Ceres. UPH team gonna go for the push. Sambar is popped by Joran in response. But it looks like MMK not able to capitalize on it because they back all out instead. They are still together however. And the Rocket Barrage right now from Lokane inside gets a flashbang in response. In the meantime though, the tank line tossing some chaos again. Self-destruct coming out as well. But Lil Bigat gets absolutely nothing in that fight. Fernando, Ken. Uh, Ken and PT actually get the second checkpoint here. Rebirth being shocked up and gets tased instead. Fascinate with his own self destruct gets rid of Ceres, who was caught out of position in that fight. Fascinate now, gonna drop on down. Here comes uh, Dodge this as well. A lot of staggers here from MMK, but now two tanks fall. No, Fascinate taking alive. No, finally he does die to Volcane, who's having a field day up in the sky. NPT getting the second checkpoint here and has the transcendence to go for the snowball. Okay, now trying to fetch up Ceres. And interesting to note that they're not gonna switch out the Far Mercy in this one. Look, Nambani is a decent map to run the Far Mercy all throughout. But it all depends on how <sighs> MMK was gonna defend this. And now the boost right now going the way of Billy. And here comes the Nano Blade just slicing and dicing, literally home shopping network at its finest. Billy getting to Calamus with the snipe as well onto Volcane. As I was gonna say, for Numbani, it's one of those maps where Fire Mercy is good, but there's literally one segment of it where it's really bad, which is this one. Cause I I don't I don't think you can fly over this. Or it's a struggle to do so. And with this archway thing. It'll be really hard for Kane to get in position in the first place. He can probably hop on top here, but just the doorway won't be enough. And Billy now getting a snipe onto JK Easy, taking the fight to the opposite with the Maker. The red team of MK though is still keeping the room in a lot of pressure here. And for Vulcan, he's all the way in the back line, gets rid of Fascinate, here's a dive on in from Dodge this, ready with the Prime Rage, but no he's getting taken out, too much hubris in the favor of MK right now, and NPT taking advantage, Luke is really good as Orbert there, Rebirt now getting bowled up by Vulcan, Lil Big Ant with a takedown as well to Calamitas, and this is gonna be new PH team. Trying to go for the gates and just spawn camping MK for the time being. It all depends though how MK is gonna do this la last push. Because this is gonna be very, very dangerous for them. Fascinate now. Gonna jump on to the point first. Dodge this in the back line again. Collapse now with the dead eye. Does get rid of Volcane. And that's a C9. That's that's a that's a C9 right there, I believe. Score three. Let's Let's just watch that C9 real quick. So what happened there? Uh, yikes. Yikes. So the Dead Eye was pop, but interesting that Dodge was, yeah, Dodge was in the back line. So what happened there? Unfortunate for MK, they have a minute, and this looks like NPT having the lead for the first time in the series, finally meshing well. And really, it just goes to show how strong their tank line is right now. NPT, there are some pretty weak spots right now. There are some really strong spots as well. The DPS line has been more than serviceable. Been very, very strong with Volcane and JK Easy getting those snipes. Rage of Tofu as well out in front again. Just it really goes to show what experience and honestly a really good scene can do for you. Rage of Tofu, one of one of the really strong free agents right now. Can I join this channel with you done that's something about the team? Uh just group chat low. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. I'll fix it. 
stupid. Together, we can solve any problem. What's been happening? Are you guys gonna make a team too in the chat? I'd love to see the chat make a team. The so for an NPT, they're now trying to get in position again. Here's the jump now from dodges up on top, and here comes Ranger Toku jumping as well. So for now, this is gonna be a pretty substandard defense here from uh, NPT because they're not really getting into position well. Finally, they do so with a snipe on Jake to Billy, but Rebirth gets the counter kill. Here comes the Winston now of Rage of Tofu. Good peel so far, but Calavis getting the cut now on to Luke. The Farmer C getting countered. Calavis with two strikes to end the life of the Farah. Next will be Lil Big Dad. The Diva have to run on out. Will get taken down. MMK all over the point already. And this looks like this is going to be an overtime push here. Because Rage of Tofu is trying to stay alive. Getting as much charge as he can. This time he goes for the contest. Gets a knife to the neck instead from Calamitous. And the overtime has been popped. So for MMK, we already expect the push from them to the second point can they actually make it because dodge this is really looking for a stagger too with the prime rage wants to go for luke wants to go for diana and take him down yes he does on the other hand volcano up on top trying to keep sarah stopped up no sarah is all the way in the back line so volcano will fall as well mmk right now a good push with the winston primal rage eventually dodge this does pay for it with his life but that's a lot of staggers going their way a wrecking ball switch now from mmk and they're just pretty much chilling on the payload. But for NPT, this is a matter of life and death. Because they will have the Widowmaker now from JK Easy. On the other hand, Rage of Tofu close to the Prime Rage. We do see a sleeping Widowmaker a while ago. Now Rage of Tofu is going to go for the engagement. Calamitous getting the blade as well out and gets rid of Luke. So two kills going the way of MMK with the two ultimates. Can they actually make this count? Rage of Tofu again on the point. Self-destruct coming out from Lil Big as well to make some space but gets absolutely nothing for another result from. So now two more kills going the way of MMK. In the meantime, the tank line just dominating the payload. Here comes pun some punches there from Rage of Tofu. Little Big Ad getting DMX again. And here comes the suicide from Calamitous. And this Genji has been pretty, pretty going crazy in the past few fights. But we do still need someone on the payload. And that's Fascinate on duty. Dodges now. Can the sleep dart? Rage of Tofu going to jump on in again. Allowing JK Easy to maybe go for a sniper too. But he's not popping any heads. But we'll meet the self-destruct in the space instead. Overtime close to the end. No, overtime still. Being popped here by MMK. Now a contest from Rage of Tofu. Lil Big Ant with the kill onto the overextending dodge this. But still MMK onto the point. Can anyone force MMK off? As now there's the res. Ceres doesn't focus down enough. So fast that he gets to kill Volcano not taking enough. So the far res might not work out in their favor. They still need to contend with this though. And Calamus whooping out the blade to get rid of Luke. Chopping off the honest, the honest head. And for MMK, they get the second point. But that was very, very risky in their side really just attack line pressure from mk from N, uh, new phd rather so scary with rage of tofu leading the way on the other hand billy right now going for snipe gets rid of luke and jk easy Ceres just hiding inside getting the res on that onto the ana and forced to use the res that close to the spawn isn't really a good situation. Volcano okay, now playing the opposite of his namescape. Gonna be on the May and will immediately fall. That's a... Okay! Another C9 there from MMK. I was about to say the May pick was questionable, but an even more questionable decision from MMK to C9 the point twice in one map. Yikes. That's, that's two. That's two C9s from y'all. Anyway, what's, what's, what's been happening, friend? Arcade is better than Compe, yes. I play, I play Robux or Lux, Stama. Let's make a new team. I, I love you guys, I'm making a new team. Real boosting services, yes, yo. Oh, my Discord. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are actually... You guys are actually doing it. You guys have had so many C9s lately. You, have, you had two C9s in that fight. What the hell is going on, MMK? Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Alright, so now new, new PH team, Bull Study Group. Anyway, so for the new PH team, 
they're gonna decide to go for this uh, Far of Mercy with Volcane and Ceres out in the sky. Luke gonna be on a Lucio. So a Mercy Lucio staring pretty old school, but this is just gonna try to enable the dive. JK is gonna be on that with the maker to apply some pressure as well from down below or up on top. In the meantime, MK getting in position to go for the dive with Dodge. He's gonna go for the jump now into the back line. JK is the target. Good peel, however, from new PH team going back to the back line. And that's what that's what you wanna do if you don't use your mobility skills. You can go for the counter dive and Rage of Tofu getting rid of Calamitous again. So for now, MMK onto the point. Billy getting a snipe onto one. Dodges though, getting a class again by the Winston. And for now, can MMK still stay on this? Fascinate getting DMAC as well. Billy another snipe so far by the Winnemaker gets rid of Volcano as well. But just all these picks not really working out in their favor because they haven't gotten a enough out of the tank line. MK now giving up two ticks. Billy forced to contest by himself. Kalam is gonna dive on in. The Genji finally showing his stuff and showing a presence onto the point. So eventually, MMK able to hold on to this, but has given up two things in the process and just went to show how much space the tank line made again from New PH team. On the other hand, here for MMK, just Billy, steady hand, god aim. Pull the trigger, get those kills, even almost sacrificing the life to go for the contest. So just some standout plays here from MK. The tank line needs to work a little better here from MK and might be true to technical issues from Dodge this. For now though, we do see the UPH team down below, just looking up above onto MMK, and here is the dive from MMK just playing very aggressively. Rage of Tofu whipping the jump, Jordan staying alive up on top. Kalam is now waiting for an opportunity to go for the blade. Getting in position for River to go for it. Fascinate, blowing up Volcano as well. And almost C9 again from MMK. This might be just them being too paranoid right now with the point. Rebirth though getting taken out. Will Calamitous whip out the blade in a situation like this? Or will he be patient? Will he trust his team in, in the fight? Because Luke already has fallen. Rage of Tofu on the other hand. With the kill on the belly. Sambire here from Joran. And there's a self-destruct right now. MMK has to retreat. Dodge is just crouching. Calamitous with another swift strike. And the Genji just getting all this damage done without even whipping out the blade. Has has been so effective here for MMK. Volkin back into the fight, however, and now Kalam finally getting the Nano Boost and Red in the Blade. That does get to next will be JK Easy on the chopping button with the Tracer with the dodges. And this is gonna be the red team now of MMK with a successful defense on the first point. Kudos. Kudos to the MK squad for clutching out at the end. And I just love the trust. I love the call to not use the Nano Boost early on or use the Dragon Blade early on in any of those fights. Go on, use the C9. What kind of team? What, what's your team name, guys? Is a meteor strike here? This is like Calamus is going for the, for the meteor strike in the middle line. Yeah, so really getting them cards as well. So another point there for MMK. But this, these last two points have been pretty hard fought for them. Welcome guys to Oasis and probably either our last map or a second to the last map. But we'll see a lot of action here in the in the next three maps to go on. So in every scrim, you do all three maps. That's why you make it best of five. So if anyone goes to zero, you don't have to you know patalo to try and force out the third map instead. You can still play your best, and you'll be able to practice each map at least once. But anyway, here for MMK right now, everyone taken aback by these the big news, big really big news here. Let me dodge this on that Ryan, fascinate on the Zarya as well. On the other hand, it's gonna be a Brigitte here for Billy Kalamas on the Doomfist, Joran on the Lucio, and Rebirth on the Ana. So a pretty standard goats comp here from MK, but instead of a Moira, they have the Ana and have Doofus. On the other hand, here for NPT, gonna be Luke right now, still sticking on to the Ana and Rage of Tofu on the Doofus. <laughs> yeah, so Rage of Tofu gonna be playing the DPS role. We'll see how NPT can actually flex this up. As MK right now, gonna go for the charge. Dodge is put to the corner. Billy going for swings as well. Calamus now into the air, and MK now gonna reposition themselves to the point. The control point right now being activated. Dodge is though taking a nap. So sleep dart they're connecting, but can 
Can NPT actually take control of this? As Rage of Tofu just going for some punches. Dodge this really low. Calamus does get two in the back line. Rage of Tofu now into the air. Gets a punch on out. But for MMK and NPT, this is pretty even. Till Neo Gear slices and dices with the laser beam. Jordan put to the corner. We have a amp it up as well. Billy right now staying to the center. Can the Brigitte stay onto this as Billy himself trying to do some damage? Nope, Neo Gear will be able to get that take down there. Now fascinate and dodge this. Still gonna go for the last minute contest. Neo Gear getting charged on up. Here comes Calamitous with the lunge on it. And again, JK Easy on the other hand, just going for a few punches. And Calamitous now into the air. Meteor Strike to get to Vanin. <laughs> Vanin, sorry about that. Rage of Tofu versus Calamitous right now. And this is gonna be MMK with control of this. Till Rage of Tofu drops on down. I just say the manager. Damn, dude. <laughs> MMK eventually winning it out at the end. That was a that was a pretty messy fight from both squads, but eventually they were able to work on it and get the point for the side of MMK. On the other hand, Billy and Rebirth ready with the rally as well as the Nana Boost. On the other hand, though. Let's see what new NPT has in store. We have grabbed the third strike now. Billy dodges this and fascinate all together. There's the shatter. JK Easy with the pulse bomb on to one. Calamitous on the other hand with the size of them pushing little big ant to the ball. And now we have the nana boost. There's another takedown and a sound barrier here from Joran to keep MMK in this fight. Calamitous now into the air. Wants to go for the slam on to Luke. Diana having to hop and pray. Rage of Tofu on the other hand with another uppercut there on the revert. And now though, NPT still in control. Here's another size for Sam here. And another combination from the Doofus. This has become a matter of Street Fighter between Calamitous and Rage of Tofu. But MMK still in heavy control of the point. In this fight, in these previous fights, this has been, I don't know, one big fight that kind of thing. But MMK just has had a little more bodies than NPT onto the point. And that last minute charge from Dodges and Fascinate to try and secure it, working out in their favor. So for now, MMK gonna pop the grab with the surge as well as the bio grenade. This is finally something clean, quick, and easy for the MMK squad, getting a team wipe in just one fell swoop. The team kill is there and 80% right now. Look what, what MK is doing. They're just chilling right now on to the point, trying to get in position to fight again. JK Easy now flying into the sky, ready for this far. Up. And JK Easy get the sniper too. The real question is, what is NPT gonna do? Interesting that JK Easy switched over to the Farah without the Mercy in. So Dodge is on the other hand, holding out to the Shatter, taking a nap this time. But can NPT get back to the point? Nigir hops on in. Serious on the other hand, on the ground. Two more kills going the way of MMK. And here comes JK Easy with the kill now on the Dodge. This Reaper now hopping around again. The rest of MMK get in position, a whip shot there connecting, Calamus now having been dead with Rachel Tofu but this is gonna be the is hopping on out for the time being and Fascinate now with two kills. The first point going to MMK in, in that fight and it just really was a situation where MK had much more point presence than NPT. And just a few interesting swaps in terms of our lineup. Just running this Farah without a mercy, going with the Burgite on to support the Farah is pretty messy to deal with. So now we will see something a little more uh, balanced here for NPT. It'll be a McCree and a Genji. For Rage of Toku and JK Easy. On the other hand, Ceres and Luke with the Mercy on it. No, another power play. So JK Easy and Ceres this time trying to try to work together. On the other hand, Dodge is trying to get in position. And just tossing out some rockets for the time being. For now, JK Easy up on top. Looking for a few shots there. It's down below. And can JK Easy actually get a punch here? Diana. Putting out the buy grenade, Billy now hopping into the front line. Joran putting MMK to the test as well, just speed boosting them into the fight. Now, one for one trade here. Calamitous again with a set of skills and the kill on the range of Tofu. JK Easy now into the sky, and the fire might be able to drop one down. Sarah's on the other hand, healing up, 
the Pharah. So four and PT. They're just trying to take control of this. Little big ad now with the fire with the fire strike. Calamus gets a punch as well. MMK trying to get in position. And here comes the Pharah Mercy into the fray. Meager though, trying to get in position. Sarah's getting the rest again on the little big ad. JK easy ready for the rock punch. Going to the back line. And NPT gonna go for the push through the front. But no, Fascinate shuts the Pharah down. Another engagement between the ground war with two in against the two Reinhardts. And there's the Shatter now. Little big ad glitching out. Gets a by grenade to his name, a sleep threat now connecting on to dodge, and Lil Bigad staying alive after all that healing. But still, MMK with control, a gravity surge this time from Fascinate, and the charge connecting onto the opposite Reinhardt. Rocket Barrage though from JK Easy shuts down dodge as well as Callum. Joran shuts down the immobile target as well. And then to be a dead eye now, Roger of Tofu with a flank, NPT. Trying to take control of this point for the time being, but no, this hasn't been effective for them. Finally, we do have a lot of staggers going the way of uh, NPT, and they get a kill on the Billy as well. Ah. For NPT, they have made this McCree Farah uh, composition work. They have this 3 DPS as well. On the other hand, Billy switching over to the Widowmaker, trying to get back into position. Calamitous, the We'll want to start things off with a combination and then into the meter strike. Here comes MK now to the back line. An engagement in the center between the two Reinhardts. JK Easy up into the sky. And speaking of the sky, Kalan is already dropping it down. Sandbarrier is there. Gravity Surge is there as well. So a lot of MMK disabled by the two tank, the tank ultimates. But no, it hasn't worked out in their favor. No, MMK being beaten back again. JK Easy getting, the, getting these free shots. The Faro having an easy time to get these kills. Fast 8 now will get picked off at the end. And for now, new PH team trying to take control of this still with their positioning. NPT has been pretty in control of this fight so far. What they have been up to was the fact that they have this Farah Mercy and for MMK, they haven't really had a deep way to deal with it. Really now spotting out JK Easy. We do see the concussion shot as well. Dodges now into the middle. Rod Raj comes on out, but he gets easy shot down there from Fascinate. Now Rage of Tofu getting the dead eye. Dodges gonna go on to the point, getting some swings as well. Nia Gear just tearing it it up with the with the particle cannon and now one for one trade. Fascinate lobbing the gravity surge to the corner. Ceres gets charged by a grenade from loop to keep everyone topped up. But this is Nia Gear having to hop on out. Dodge is now with a nano boost instead. JK easy reload. There's the shatter from dodge this and so the swing from dodge does get two. MK now in control of this. Dodge this and fascinate gonna go to the right hand side. And on the other hand, it's little big and backing out in this engagement in the meantime though looking at their ultimate Sneagir close to the Graviton Surge this can be a game changer here if Sneagir can launch it into the middle line Ceres has switched over to the Lucia as well as the, we do have a Genji here from JK Easy. he's really low has to get topped up Fire Strikes now being tossed out and Doran in the middle close and Close to popping the trance there. Calamus though with another kill. Gets rid of JK Easy. Going through the right hand side. Jordan forced to pop the trance there. And this is gonna be MMK going for the offensive push. Cher is now really low. Gets gets picked off. Luke having to hop on out as well. And Diana dropping on down. MMK in complete control of this. Fascinate gets another pickoff. And one more contest here from Rage of Tofu. Two endings. But the university has been sealed here by MMK. No way for them to get back to the point for new PH team. The last map here gonna be on city center and so far mmk winning that 2-0 but it hasn't been one-sided at all new ph team has been pretty clear in trying to make this work trying to make this composite these compositions works and with the far of mercy a while ago is putting so much pressure I, i'm pretty surprised that they actually swapped out on it even with a mccree to their face they were able to get a few picks here and there so we'll see what these two teams now have in store MMK gonna be going for the dive, pretty standard stuff here, gonna be Lucio on a Doomfist Tracer for their DPS and support line. On the other hand, the MMK uh, and, and new PH team rather, gonna be running at Farah Mercy and Rage of Tofu is gonna hop on top instead. 
Fernando, UPH team looking for a way to get the snipe on out. Little Big Ant with the kill down onto Billy. This is gonna be JK Easy taking the second floor again. So just keep to control going the way of new PH team. Some glass being broken. The Widowmaker getting into position uh, again. Bridget Tofu as well as Terrace just floating around for the time being. On the other hand though, MMK getting the first pick now on to JK Easy, And they wanted to engage before the Mercy got the res or not. But no, it's still too late from Dodgers and Fascinate. The point now being contested. Jordan with a snipe again on the Rage of Tofu this time. Can MMK actually capitalize on the lack of res? Here comes a dive from the Winston and the Diva. Trying to get the peel on. But Dodgers has gotten a buy grenade. Kalanda's gonna slice through to the center. Spots out Ceres. Just trapping the Mercy inside the room. And there's a takedown. Deflect onto JKEZ as well. And MK now winning it out. Trader Tofu, the lone survivor. The Tracer just hopping around for the time being. But this was the fight that MK was destined to win. They do have two ultimates in their favor as well. On the other hand, even with new PH team... Winning out that for the first few clashes, they don't really have too much in terms of ultimate charge. Niger now switching over to oh little bit ad rather switching over to the Winston. Niger close to the self disrupt as well as Luke close to the nano boost. Billy and JK Easy having it with the duel as well. As Billy now gonna rotate to the left hand side, looking for a sideline. Rage of Tofu going for a poke. Billy is caught on out. And this is gonna be the Tracer almost getting a takedown. There's the heal from Rebirth. Joran this time with the peel as well. Alongside Rebirth. And so it's up to drop now to the back line. A grab sun surge. No, a dragon blade instead from Calamitous to cut up the Ana. The Nana boost onto the Genji as well. And we do see the self destruct forced out by Niger, but it's not gonna be enough. An unwise decision there from Niger to pop the self destruct at that point when he knew that Calamitous could easily get the kill onto him in the first place. Fernando, MMK getting into position again. What they've been doing here is just taking control of the opening area of the point with their dive. They've been trying to deal with the Tracer as well, but Rage of Tofu has proven to be quite wily. The two supports though with a really good peel job. So Jordan and Rebirth keeping Billy alive, allowing him to get two shots as well. On the other hand, here's the counter dive from new PH team. Lil Bang and Niger congregating. Calamus now forcing JK Easy down below and gets the takedown. There's the peel however from the two tanks. A good engagement from uh, New Year as well as Little Big Ant. Ceres whipping out the pistol and gets rid of Billy as well. So new PH team trying to get in position. Jor on the other hand with the orbs gets rid of Ceres and here comes Rage of Tofu from the right hand side. The Zenyatta forced to pop the trance in the face of the Anger Monkey and the Speedster. Again, MMK still hold on to this. New Year now getting the mech. Rage of Tofu on the other hand with the twirl around on the point. Forced to pop the recall and this is going to be new PH team on the last legs. The post bomb is available. Gets a stick onto the Ana. No more healing here for MMK. Billy though will be able to get a snipe. Self destruct now into the air, gets absolutely nothing. And oh, the UPH team almost leaves the point, almost gets their own version of their C9. Calamus though, really low, gets sniped on up by JK Easy, has a sliver of HP. The Widowmaker not dying in that fight is such a bane here for MMK. And UPH team just capitalizing as much as they can. Jordan right now out in front, we see the Winston hounding the Moira. And Joran gets a takedown onto JK Easy, take doing the job that the DPS should have done in the first place. But anyway, for uh, MMK, they do have a myriad of openings here with, with their dive. And they even have the Nano Blade available. So Calamthus might want to wait here for Rebirth to get his position. Infrasight has been popped. They know where Age of Tofu is. He's going to go for some things onto Billy. But Rebirth now looks for a position to strike. Wants to pop the Q there onto Callum. Gets it out. And here comes Callum into the sky. Swift Strike has been used. The second one is retaken. And this is going to be the Moira and the Windowmaker caught down in one fell swoop. Niger getting d mech on back. The Demon just going for the contest. But now he's off the point. The MMK getting the point on back. Niger getting d mech this time. Lil Bia, the lone survivor no billy gets a take down before he can even do anything on the point this looks like that's gonna be game mmk taking it three to zero mm. looks like we're still gonna go play of the game play of the game they're going to jk easy That was a really good shutdown there from the tank line. It was like the Earth Shatter and the Graviton were pretty on point. Oh, Rebirth left, so 